All right, I reset the map, so we'll try this a little bit. Should have less voice and uh, interference. So we're in Atlanta. We're gonna find our little South M33. But this is just how people live. This would be considered the province if you're in the Philippines or um, Vietnam, Cambodia. But it's just simple. It's not, you know, if you got the load, just simple routine. I think a lot of the Americans would enjoy that. You don't have to talk if you're shy, subscribers, but uh, you don't have to do a lot, okay? Just try to keep the camera steady and you don't have to do long like I'm doing. Now I've got a shoot with an iPhone 12 Pro Max, I think, 13 or 12. And, uh, and again, now you see over here, you might have a dairy farm. You see that big silo on that farm? That's where they put, used to put silage. And they have their cash crop is, we call it corn, you might call it maize, or it could be beans, uh, soybeans is a big cash crop. for milk. Milk was good up here in the 70s, 80s. And, uh, so this is, I'm just going to give you a little flavor of this and I'll, it'll be up there if you want to see it. But again, this is a teaching video for subscribers who want to take a short, maybe 60 seconds, could be longer, uh, and you want to share it, share your how, where your family lives at, how families live. And uh, so uh, we're doing bridging, community bridging, you know, community. We communicate, cooperate, life is better that way. So now I've got to find, I'm gonna be turning right, I'm pretty sure, because I'm still going east, I gotta go south. And I'll be looking for, I think, 33. See that sign, it says 33 south, and that's what I'm looking for. See the hay bales? Those are called rounds. Those are called rounds. And uh, there's a group, you can Google it, Amish. A-M-I-S-H. They uh, shun electricity. And they use, uh, their economy is agriculture. They're part of the Mennonites. They're up here. They have a horse culture. So they're allowed to... Uh, not to fully lock into our economy. They own uh, they're, uh, a Christian community. So they usually have farms and they work in the woods and they cut wood and uh, and are self-sufficient. They have a bake. And people come up here and buy their baked goods, pies, cakes, pastries, be like sweet breads, regular bread. I gotta get me a holder because my arms, I'm switching my arms there. So all this is just all you have to do. Very simple. Cambodia, you know, you leave Seam Reap, Seam Reap to Phnom Penh or Seam Reap to Boy Pat, or in between. People don't see that. They don't, you know, or it's very commercialized. So it's just very simple. So I get a pan right if you want to show. Pan left if you want to pan left, but um, I'm driving it. It's not cement; it's asphalt. that's making wood products. They sell this. This is all to the tourists, people that come by. Gift shops. That's for tourists. You know, that come through here. They come from the main big cities and they come up here for a vacation. In one mile, turn right on M33. There's no way I can get rid of that voice if it becomes predominant. I'd have to shut off and I'll turn the app off. Make 
less money, but the cost of living is less. Okay. Now, most of the land is to, is owned by the government. This is called state forest, the state. In America, you have the United States, then you have the state, and the state owns a lot of the land. And uh, it could be privately owned, but most of it, you look on a map, you can, you can tell it's state land. There's deer, turkey. Okay. See the wood product? See the truck coming out of here? That's part of the economy. That's how they make it. Turn right on M33. Get on that. That's that truck. Turn right on M33. There he is. Now, that's going to go somewhere and get processed. That's where it starts off. Continue straight for 20 minutes to East Miller Road. So, uh, there's our first marker that shows Mayo 28, Fairview 19. Fairview, I would like to come up here. In August, they have a uh, an Amish festival where I don't know how to say it, where they bring people in and they they uh, sell their quilts and they they have auctions and they have uh, and I've actually come across it, the, the Amish are part of what I would call they probably wouldn't call it, they call them strict Amish but they're part of Mennonites and the Mennonites have a world uh, relief fund where they. They're present in Mindanao, and they funded some of the medical missions that we did. I was shot all the way down into the southern parts of the Philippines, Mindanao, and Davao, province of Davao, and they were present there. And uh, the Mennonite relief, and they would, uh, they, this is where one of their sources of where they raise money, they donate to the international, and then they help them out. It's amazing, <coughs> the roots of all this. All right. It's, uh, this is seven minutes. I'm going to cut this off for now and wait till we get up there a little bit.